Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Dwarven Skykeep, which I think is quite an interesting idea, because normally, fantasy world dwarves tend to be found underground, don't they? They live in big underground halls, with roaring fires and malt beer and ripe meat off the bone and all that sort of stuff, but this game allows the dwarves to build upwards, into the sky, in a sort of tower. A Skykeep, you could say, that'd be a good name for it, wouldn't it? Which does make a nice change. You know, the dwarves get to go above ground for a bit. They get to go to the surface and see the sky and all that kind of stuff, which does sound nice. So, you know, I quite like that. It makes it a little bit different. It's a dwarven game, but they're not just, you know, constantly digging underground. They're kind of, you know, rising up into the sky a bit, which is quite nice. So, yes, we're going to build ourselves a lovely tower type thing with all sorts of rooms. The rooms generate cards, and then we use those cards to do more building work. And also, we do have to fight against baddies that do want to come along and knock our tower down, which does seem a bit mean, but there we go. So, we have to do a little bit of defensive work as well. Now this is the demo of the game. There is no fixed date for a proper release as of yet, but as always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below, and you can pick up the demo from there too if you so wish, and you can have a little play. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's build ourselves a Dwarven Skykeep. Okay, so here we go, and I think we are in one of the aforementioned classic underground dwarven cities by the look of it. I mean, there's kind of a big stone formation thing over there, there's a big stone thing over there, and it looks a little bit dark, doesn't it? It doesn't look sort of bright and airy. We're not up on the surface in the sunshine. It looks a little bit kind of, a little bit dank down here, shall we say. So I think we are underground and there is a raven talking to us, which is a little bit unusual, but okay, hello talking raven. The raven is saying, hello, Dr. Savendar. Thank you for responding and taking the time to visit Dwarf City. The city is not literally called Dwarf. It's a city where only dwarves live. Okay, right, I'm with you with that one. Come on, they are waiting for us. Okay, so who is waiting for us? Right, so the raven is flying over here and it's landed over there somewhere. Okay, and now I think, I think that's us. Yeah, there we are. So there's our character. So we get to run around the place a bit. There's lots of dwarves having some, having some lovely drinks. There you go. There's the malt beer that we mentioned. Um, so can we have a wander about? Are we called, it looks like we're called Sevendar Ness. Okay, for a moment I thought we were called Sevendar Knees, but no, Sevendar Ness is our name. Okay, now are we a dwarf? Are we a dwarf? Because we seem to be, hang on, hang on, hang on. We seem to be a little bit taller than everybody else. It might just be the case that, yeah, we're not a dwarf. Or if we are, we're a very tall dwarf. Or maybe it's just the huge hat that's making a difference. We've got really big shoes. I don't know. Um, okay, I mean, what's over there? Uh, oh, oh, hang on. The raven is saying, Doctor, they are waiting for us in the mirror shop. Okay, I think we just got told off by a bird. Sorry about that. Oh, look at that in the background. There's lots of, um, hang on, can we go back over that way? Oh uh, yeah, there's an arrow pointing where we should go. There's lots of like sort of dwarven house type things over in the background there. That looks very nice with the twinkly lights and such like. Um, okay, so we're going to go into here into the mirror shop because there is a little pointy arrow on there. Okay, let's go into the mirror shop then. Here is the mirror shop. Um, hello, is this a mirror shop, says the raven. I think it might be. Uh, okay, so the chappy who runs this place is called Lucrezio the Incredible, which is a wonderful name. Well, why do you think so? The sign on the outside literally reads Mirror Shop. That's why he thought so, we said. Okay, right, we're a little bit snarky there. Um, yeah, so Lucrezio the Incredible says, Ah, yes, yeah, sorry. Hello, wise bird and mighty wizard. We have been waiting for you, and here you come. I am Lucrezio the Incredible, and this is my Mirror Shop. We have established it's a Mirror Shop. Stop saying Mirror Shop. The raven says, one amusing mirror was supposed to be delivered here. Through this mirror, a wizard can travel back and forth to the surface. Okay, an amusing mirror. Okay, how amusing. That is why I am here. This shop is usually closed and dwarves rarely buy mirrors, especially in this terrible times. The mirror you are looking for is in the basement. Okay, uh, okay. And then we say, okay, thank you. I will leave now. Okay, so we're going to, oh, we're going to head down to the basement. Okay, I imagine it's that mirror just there. In case then Lucrezio says, I understand that through this mirror, you're going to travel back and forth to the surface more than once, so I'll leave you for now. You're a pro. What could possibly happen? Okay, so we have ourselves a magic mirror, do we, that takes us up to the surface. So I wonder if we've got to do some building on the surface, but then we have to keep coming back into the underground city to pick up various bits and bobs, like materials or whatever, special things that the dwarves have made in the city. That could be quite exciting. We shall see if that comes to pass. And the raven says, Mind you, Dr. Savendar is our best card tower building specialist, and the city dwarves are skilled builders and craftsmen. Everything is gonna be all right. Okay, I like the raven. 
And then we've we've done a grumpy face at the raven. Okay, we've grumpy faced at you, raven. Your optimism scares me. <laughs> oh, no, don't be like that. Um, But you still use card magic. Why do you also need dwarves? Because any magic is a bit of sorcery and a lot of work, my dear. Okay, so we like the magic bit, but we don't like the effort. Okay, someone else's work, says the raven. Of course, we say. I see, says Lucrezio. Well, while the doctor is busy, I'll visit the tavern, inform the innkeeper that they won't have long to ring, knock and hum without him. Okay, Lucrezio is talking with but okie doke. Yes, black days are coming. Well, let them live in peace, at least in the demo version. Off I go. So there we go, it's the demo version of the game. Right, so we're going to climb through the magic mirror, and here we go. Tutorial level one, prove that the raven's optimism is not groundless and learn how to play. Okay, that sounds like a good place to start. Okay, so there we are. Let's start the studies. Okay, the page is torn out. I have to improvise. Okay, that always goes well in the Geeko, but always oh, knocked his inkwell thing over. Okay, right, so here we go. Let's begin the game. Right, the raven has come with us. So let's quickly cover the basics. To build, you need block cards. Okay, there is one there. Allows you to extend the tower. Most blocks are built empty and you'll need a room card to make them work. Okay, so we build a shell and then we put the rooms into the shell. Okay, got you with that. Um, which you can build next to the tower. Okay, so we pop that just there because we're in happy tutorial mode. Um, summon a dwarf. They will take care of the tasks while you provide the magic and the leadership. Okay, right, so now we can summon a dwarf with our dwarf card. Dwarves are loyal and hardworking as long as you still have beer. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fair. Right, so summon a dwarf, and then hold F to speed up time. Oh, crikey, that does go quick. Okay, so Ermrig, the dwarf, has built that little room. Now the magic. Build a vortex. You can create combat magic cards with it. Okay, so we just pop that into there, do we? Oh, and then the dwarf builds that. We just sat down. We just sat on a throne or whatever, sort of presiding over things. Okay, so let's expand the tower. Build another block. Uh, okay, right, we're building it over there, are we? I'm not entirely sure of the structural integrity of that, but right you are, so speed time on. Let's go deeper, place a block underground. Okay, we can't help building underground. We are, yeah, we're working with dwarves after all. Okay, so then we can speed time on a little bit more. Uh, build a workshop, okay. The workshop allows you to draw cards from the tool deck. Okay, so there's two cards. Um, it's placed, it's better placed underground. It will work more efficiently. Okay, so we want workshops to be underground. Okay, so get um, Rig to finish that. And there we go. We have a little workshop. It's got a little sort of furnace and some tools and such like. A crystal produces mana, which is required for spell casting. Okay, so is that another thing? So that's going to generate two mana per day. Okay, so um, Rig, go and build a crystal, please. Oh, and it's gone to daytime. Right, go down to the workshop and give the dwarf a task to do something. Uh, oh, we now have to do something. Oh, we've had to get out of our comfy chair. Okay. So now we're in the workshop. We press E, do we? Choose a card to produce. Okay, what does that do? Firefight. Orders a dwarf to extinguish one raging fire. Okay, so we want to make that do it. So hold F to speed up time. So now the dwarf is going to come down here and work on this. So we've said, you should do that, dwarf. And the dwarf's gone, all right, yeah, absolutely fine. Right, and then we pick that up, do we? So we pick up that card the dwarf has made, and now it's gone down here. Okay, looks like the crystal has generated some mana. Let's go and collect it. Okay, so now we climb back up to here. And we go and look at our magic floaty crystal. And we pick up some mana. Okay, use a mana card in the vortex and wait for a miracle. Okay, so now we go over to here. And I assume we... Yeah, there we go. We've used our mana and we've put it into this kind of swirly thingamabob. The vortex bought us a fireball. The bread and butter of every wizard. Here we can use this card. Okay, right. So now we've got a fireball card. Okay, wonderful. And, oh, and sooner than we thought, a goblin is coming. Get ready. Oh, pesky goblin. Okay, hang on. How do we do this? So now fire uh, sends a powerful blast of energy into the target, causing damage and fire, strangely enough. Okay, so we're going to chuck a fireball. There it is at this goblin. So we're doing wizardy magic stuff. Okay, so select the spell target. Boom. And there we go. Congratulations. You have killed your first goblin. Thanks. Um, fire alarm. This is a drill, but the fire is real. Tell the dwarf to put it out. Is there a fire? Oh, yeah, that, there's a fire thing in that room. Okay, ah, I see. Right, so now the dwarf is going to come up here and put out the fire of, on our lovely chair. Hopefully that's not, you know, ruined our upholstery or anything. I don't want to sit on a nice uh, burnt chair or whatever. That would be sad. Um, okay, so I imagine we have to go back and do this. Try building a block. 
Okay, we already have done all that kind of stuff. You can only interact with nearby rooms. Okay, so now we have to build wherever. Okay, so if we build, I know, just there, that'll do. Hold F to speed up time. Yeah, there we go. You do the building. Uh, and now we go back and sit in our chair, do we? Is that what it's telling us to do? Right, so now we go and sit in our chair. From the chambers, you control the entire tower. Okay, right, the whole tower. Oh, I see. Right, okay. So if we're sat in our chair, we can build and do stuff wherever. But if we're wandering about, we can only interact with kind of you know, the room we're in or adjacent rooms. That makes sense. Um, carpenter shop. Dwarves work here for creating improvements for your rooms. Okay, so if we pop that there, get the dwarf to build a carpenter shop while we have a lovely sit down. Oh, we've got to get up again. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> it's a hard life. Right, okay. So we're in the carpenter shop now. So what do we do here? We've told him to do something. I don't quite know what we're doing, but we said, Dwarf, do carpentry, please. Okay, so speed up the time a bit. So we collect whatever it was. Here on the surface, violence is the answer. Arm the dwarf. Okay, okay, we've made a sword. Okay, right, that seems fine. And have we given the dwarf the thing? Uh, click to send the armed dwarves patrolling. Okay, well, I'll just click the buttons. The tutorial is helping. Right, so a little goblin has appeared. And then, um, yeah, we're just fighting the goblin. We're going to sit back and do nothing. There you go. And the dwarf has choppity chopped the goblin. Uh, so Ermerick says, well, I see we get along. Let me give you a couple of tips, Commander. You receive block and room cards when you build. Yes, that type works. Building more actively is the key to victory. Okay, yeah, we can work that. Good luck. Thank you very much. Oh, and there we go. There we go. Our teeny tiny little sort of intro level is finished. Um, I see everything is all right, Doctor. You can't spend your true talent on booze, obviously. Don't say dwarves don't try. We're ready for our first combat mission. The goblins are about to set fire to the municipal forge. This cannot be allowed. End to the mirror now and let's go. Oh yeah, the goblins are going around starting fires. That's terrible. We can't do that right. Yeah, let's climb through and do this immediately. So yeah, tutorial workshop. So we're on demo level two out of five. Don't let the forge be destroyed. Extinguish three fires. Okay, so we need to build the underground thing. That let us put out fires, didn't it? Okay, fine. Let's see how we get on with this one. Fire starters will be here by midnight. Okay, so here is the forge. Uh, let's use workshops to create some firefighting equipment. Okay, so we can get down here. So uh, yeah, we want to say, please do this. So yeah, produce firefighting stuff, please. But then there's lots of these. So can we go back down and in here, say, yeah, make firefighting stuff. And then there's another dwarf stood around over here doing nothing. Can we go over here and say, please make firefighting stuff? So hopefully we can make three firefighting cards. I mean, it looks like they must be underground. I assume, yeah, that's the ground level, is it? So there's a little bit kind of peeking out the top. Um, okay, the moon is rising. Let's just run time on nice and quick. Has nobody made any things yet? We've not made any things yet. The goblins are here. Quick, quick, quick. You must you must be doing a thing. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, we need to go down and collect it, don't we? So we've collected a firefighting card and we've collected a firefighting card. There is a goblin over there setting fire to stuff. Kind of feel like we should not be doing... Hang on, so right, put that there. And then does the goblin... Uh, the goblin's setting fire... They're setting fire to the roof. Oh, you villains. That's not good, is it? That's terrible. Um, okay, hang on. We need to get back into our seat, I think. Oh, no, the room is on fire. We can't do that. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Extinguish two fires. We're out of the tower, but we can send a dwarf into there to put that fire out. And then I think... Hang on. Down here. What's going on here? E to collect the card. Right, we have another firefighting card. So if we go to here, we can say, put it just there. So that dwarf is putting out that fire. Extinguish one fire. Okay, and now we can put out this fire over here, hopefully. I kind of feel like we should be fighting the goblins. If we were fighting them, they wouldn't be starting fire so readily. But okay, fine. Um, oh, there we go. We just won. Oh, and there's a there's a face. Hello. Okay, I turned the voices off, so I'm not entirely sure what you're saying. But okay, good. I assume you said, well done, you're great. Okay, um, next. Here we go. Back to the mirror shop. Okay, that was a little bit weird. Because I thought possibly we should fight the goblins rather than keep letting them come in to start fires. But okie doke. So the raven says, top class doctor. You put out three whole fires with the power of magical dwarven blacksmithing. Dwarves are incredibly grateful. Let's exploit this and learn how to command them. Only 93 more to go. Okay, here is the task. The nearby Lone Spire, where a young beauty was imprisoned by an evil stepmother, is about to be attacked by goblins. The beauty was evacuated for the duration of the operation, and the basement of the tower was converted into a carpenter shop with the stepmother's agreement. 
meet the unsuspecting villains fully armed. Okay. Right, so now we need to make... I mean, how do we summon dwarves? I don't know. There will be no remorse. Kill three enemies. Lose conditions. Don't kill three enemies in the first two days. Okay, so we basically have to go and make some swords and stuff in the carpenter workshop. That's what we need to do. And possibly we could do with doing some building as well. It'd be quite nice if we could do some building and, you know, chuck fireballs at people, given that we're a wizard. But yeah, okay, here we go. And um, we could create a few axes. What do you think? Yeah, I think that sounds like a good plan. Um, yes, can, can we do that? Waiting for a dwarf. Right, so one dwarf has come down there. And if we go to here, can we go back into our chair? So how do we do building? We haven't got any building cards. So we can't do any of that. Hang on. So if we run time on, that means that you have got... Hang on. So if we go back down here, there we go. We pick that card up. And now distribute the axes among the dwarves. Okay. So do you need... Hang on. Can we get you to do it again? Can you do more building? Yeah. Okay. However, there is a goblin. Click to send the armed dwarves. Okay. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Where do we... Where... Ah, right. We just send them like that. Do it. Okay. Right. Hang on. The dwarves are hit. The, the dwarves are... Hang on. Where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? I'm not entirely sure where you're going. But okay, right. You're doing some fighting. And that's a good... Right, hang on. Arm some more dwarves. Oh, right. They don't come out to fight unless they're... If they're armed, they come out to fight. But if not, they don't. Okay, no, that's fine. That's okay. There's another one there. Yeah, that one's stuck in the roof. He can't get back down here to do fighting. Oh, okay. We've won. And again, I don't know what you're saying because I turned the voice off. But yay, well done. That's wonderful. A little bit creepy, and where's your nose? But okay, right, back to the mirror shop. Kind of like to do some more building. Amazing victory. Goblins are retreating hastily, having noticed elderly beardies in the tower instead of a young lady. Let our dwarven colleagues celebrate, but we don't have time to rest. Okay, Raven. Frightened by the approaching goblin horde, the garrison of the Northern Cross Tower hastily deserted and dropped their battle flag. This is great news, because when else would there be such a wonderful chance to practice combat spells? Let's go there soon. Okay, so we're going to go and practice some combat spells. So a magic tutorial. Okay, so protect the banner uh, and don't lose the banner. Okay, nice and simple. Yep, yeah, I'm with you on that. I get what we've got to do. Okay, so here we go. Magical stuff. This is kind of where we come in. Uh, collect the mana from the crystal. Okie doke. Yeah, we can do that. Go up to here and collect that. Okay, charge the vortex. Okay, yeah, so charge up the whirly thingamajig. That's going to take a few minutes. And take care of the flag. The enemy must not get the battle banner. Okay, so if we go back over here and just grab some more power from that. And then, can we go back over here? Um, yeah, so we can collect a card. So now we've got, what's that? A fireball, that was. I don't know what that is over there. Uh, a ray, a combat spell, which is a ray. It shoots a ray of pure energy directly to single target, damaging exactly one creature. And that's a fireball. And that's mana. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we not use the mana again? Oh, there we go. We've got two of those now, possibly. Or is it generating as another spell card? Right, so press E to collect it. Okay, we now have two rays. So we're not doing fireballs this time. We're doing rays. Oh, we can collect another card. Oh, okay. We've got some more mana. Okay, yeah, well, let's invest that back into the magical thingamajig. Let's get us some more stuff. We might as well be very, very prepared. Okay, so collect that card. Three magical ray spells now, which is good. Um, okay, can we... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Right, concentrate that on you. Right, you've been melted. That's good. Right, pick up some more stuff from there. And go back over there. And cash that in, if you like. So here we go. So, ten more minutes. Hang on, there's another goblin-y thing. Right, blast you. Yeah, don't mess goblins. Right, pick up another mana card. Thank you. Go back over there. Turn it into here. And again, let's do that again. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Blast you. Zap. Oh, we won. Hooray, says Chappy there. Well done, us. That was good. Um. Oh, okay. That was slightly more straightforward than I thought it was going to. They didn't even get near to the flag. Okay, so this has got to be like a more sort of free-flowing level now, surely. Marvellous. You may think that destroying three goblins is enough to win in every situation, but you'd be wrong. You have passed successfully the test stipulated by the protocol, so it's time to build your own tower. Here we go. I won't go with you anymore, but I warn you, this time you'll need to have twice as much effort to win as before. Okay, so here we go. This is the proper big test, and so we get to put all our knowledge to, uh, to use. First glance. Okay, kill six enemies. Okay, yeah, we can have a go at that. I'm sure we can muddle through. Ooh, okay, right, we're looking a bit cross. Oh, look at that. 
can we build a tower with a big kind of huge big kind of telescopey thing sticking out of it that sounds good okay and there yeah there once a goblin stood but alas no more okay right so now it's going to be quite tricky so we've got to start building stuff quite quick i imagine so let's put a little thing just there and let's build underground as well so what have we got we've got what one fireball which is quite handy um it's going to take a long time to build out there my goodness me can we not summon another dwarf or something i think we need to go down here yeah, we can't build anything down there. We need to build the carpenter thing. Um, build Deeper gives more cards. Okay, so over here then, let's build our... Let's get some mana underway. So let's get that working, please. So yeah, get that done. So let's move time on a bit quick. Oh dear. I've only got one fireball for defense at the minute. Right, so let's grab some mana. Okay, so we've got some mana on the way. Enemies hand... Enemies got six cards in their hand. Okay, Chappy, you need to do some... Um, you need to do some digging or building, whatever it is you're doing very quick. Diggy, diggy hole, dwarven friend. Okay, so there you go. You've done that. And now down here we go. Um, yeah, let's put one of the workshop things under there like that. And then let's build. I mean, let's build over there. But I'd like to be able to build. Hang on, can we get back in our chair? I'd like to be able to build above as well. Because, you know, I want to build a tower. I want to build a lovely tower. So it would be quite nice if we could build a bit higher. But okay, hang on. For now, it, this is okay. This will do. So he's finished. So we need to go down here and a requisition something. Not entirely sure what we just asked him to do. Build weapons, possibly? That might have been weapons. Okay, that could come in handy. It's going to take a very, very long time, though. So let's run time on very quickly. I don't quite know when the enemy are going to turn up. That's the only problem. We've got one fireball to hand, which isn't so bad. So, okay, let's get you finishing that. Right, so... You've got this. So we go and collect that card. And now we've got... What's that? What's that? A torch. Oh, the torch illuminates the room when it's dark. Oh, okay. That's not the most exciting of things, but okie doke. Um, can we pick anything up from here? No, it's gathering. Okay, so now you need to finish working on this empty room here. And then we can put... Hang on a second. Um, what's that? It's a warehouse. Where's our magic thing? Magic vortex. That's what we want. So... Put a magic vortex into there, and then we can at least get some more stuff underway. Um, in here, can we please make some more stuff? Oh, we need another dwarf. <laughs> we need another person to come around and help us a bit. Because we've only got one one person doing the work right now. Oh, it's going to take over a day. It's going to take over a day. Oh, no, hang on. No, it's gone back to four hours. That's fine. I swear that said over a day a second ago. Right. So our crystal is ready. So let's go and grab the stuff from the crystal. So now we've got two mana, which is good. However, the enemy are building up quite a lot of cards. Right, you down there. Well done. We'll go and pick up whatever that is you've done. Please tell me it's weapons. Um, what's that? That is doors. Oh, okay. That could be quite handy. Hang on. Put a door in there, please. That seems like a good idea. Um, well, I don't quite know where it went. Uh, and a door there. Okay. I don't quite know where the door is, but okay, apparently it's got doors now, which is a good thing. Right, now our magic thing should be done. Okay, that's really good. So now we can at least get some more spells. So in a day's time, we can get some magic done. Oh, he's got to fit the doors. Oh, the poor overworked dwarf. I do apologise. Well, hang on, let's get back in our chair. Um, Yeah, let's build. Why can't we build upwards? I want to build upwards. Oh, it's telling us where we can access things from. Oh, it's an up, right, left block. Oh, oh, okay, right, yeah, we'll put that just there. That seems fine. Um, and then we'll just sort of, we'll just sit and wait, I suppose. He's got to fit some doors. Okay, yeah, the enemy's card, sort of your hand is building. So they could come at us with an awful lot of stuff very soon. Right, now the doors are going on here, which is good. Doors are good. Defense is handy. So let's get that done. Okay, so that's sorted. Let's let him go and build this room over here. And then we could, and what does that do? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fireball. Uh, let's... Oh, hang on. I can't do a fireball because I'm not near enough. Okay, now I can do a fireball. I can't seem to do a fireball. Do I have to be outside? Do I have to see the thing? Oh, okay. It doesn't target it like I thought it did. Okay, right. The the goblin is dead. That is a good thing. Right, so we've defeated one enemy. Um, okay. Torches. Uh, and I put a torch just there, possibly. Takes an hour. So we've got a warehouse. We've got a carpenter shop, and we've got a brewery. Okay, ah, here we go. We can finally put that just there. That's wonderful. What does the brewery do again? Um, gives one free dwarf when built. 
that's going to be really helpful. That's going to be very, very good. Right, okay, so finish that first. We do need to get our... Hang on, can we pick up a thing from here? Um, did we pick up a spell? I'm not entirely sure. Did we do that? Not enough mana. Okay, we the, that's gathering. Oh, I thought we had more than... Have we not got any spells? We've got no defense at all. Okay, this is a bit worrying. If they attack again, we're going to be in trouble. Okay, how about then we get a little sort of taverny thing set up up there because then we can get another dwarf in and that's got to be a good thing. Right, we need to kill five more enemies and that's it. Okay, let's let the dwarf finish working on that up there. That's very good. Um, come down to here. What's that? Ah, right, yes, we can summon another dwarf, which is very exciting. Okay, so we're in here. The room is flooded. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it is, it is a bit rainy out. Okay, so they're up in the pub having a fun time. Ah, we can finally get ourselves a fireball, which is very good. Uh, right, back into here. Let's carry on building. So let's put another thing just there. That's going to be handy. Dwarves, we need you to go and do some building. Also, possibly, could you help out a bit with the flood? Um, okay, so hang on. What's that? A library. Provides us with spells. That needs to go underground, doesn't it? Does, oh, no, hang on. The carpenter shop doesn't. Oh, no, let's put a carpenter shop just there. Yeah, can we build a carpenter shop? Because they can make weapons, and then you can do fighting, and that's a good thing. Right, hang on. A portal has appeared. Okay, is that good? And that's probably a bad thing. Okay, can one of you dwarves get over here and make some weapons, please? Because that would be nice. Oh, we can collect a card from there. Oh, it was a torch. Okay. And the other one can put a torch just there. I kind of feel like we don't want that portal there. Um, okay. Collect the mana card, which is nice. And then turn that in into there. So we've got our next spell underway. We do have another spell, which is handy. So we do have a fireball ready. Um, yeah, how can we, how can we drain this room? <laughs> that is a little bit of an issue, isn't it? That's a little bit of a problem. Okay, hang on a second. Um, can we build uh, the, up there, please? Get another room done there. And what's that? That's a magic vortex. Hang on, and we already got a magic vortex. Is that not what that is? Okay, we need another um, crystally thing, really. Uh, okay, right. Hang on. That room is filling up, right? I don't know how it's all flooded. How do we deal with the floods? <laughs> the game didn't tell us how to deal with floods. Um, okay, right. We need to build upwards then, do we? Because everything is becoming slightly useless. Um, unless yeah, they've got trapdoors and things. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a trapdoor there. Let's when we go down that, it fills that room up. Hang on. So if we go back into there, can we not? Can we not build anything like that? Oh, hang on a minute. We'll build just there because we can. Um, yeah, this isn't going well, is it? Because we haven't got. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh no, there's a there's a goblin. There's a, there's an enemy. Hang on. Let me chuck a fireball at them. Yay! That's wonderful. Um, however. That room is now on fire. Um, I mean, could we not just let it fill with water? That would work quite well, wouldn't it? <laughs> I know, I think that did work. I think we just put the fire out. Okay, that's good. Hang on, let's pick up a thing. That's a torch. But yeah, now that room is flooded. It didn't tell us how to deal with floods. It hasn't told us how to deal with floods quite yet. I'm not entirely sure what we can do. Um, I kind of feel like we need to do some digging, but we can't do that. Hang on, there's a, there's a there was a goblin. There's a goblin that came in. The goblin has gone away. Uh, I mean, I, I I kind of feel like the game hasn't prepared us for the floods. <laughs> what do we do with this room that's full of water? We kind of need to make all these things work. Hang on, hang on. What's that, though? And um, We've got a barricade. Okay, a temporary way to stop goblins. Although we can't deploy it. We can't seem to deploy anything because it's all gone a bit horribly wrong. Um, okay, how about, how about a warehouse? Let's pop a warehouse up there and possibly a sort of torch thing as well. That could be helpful. And we'll see if the water drains away. <laughs> because if it doesn't, I don't quite know what to do. Right, the portal has moved and it's ruined our our magical thingamajig. So now we have no chance to get any kind of spells. And everything is flooded. Okay. <laughs> How do we solve the flood game? Game, I don't, I don't know what you want us to do. We're underwater. We can't do anything there. Oh, we're okay. We're possibly drowning a bit. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm I'm befuddled. The game did. Hang on. What's that do? Is that telling us anything about? That's learning about. Can we learn about floods? Because that'd be useful. Because I don't know how to deal with the floods. Um, hang on. Does it say about floods in here? Possibly. It doesn't look like it does. Um, 
bother. Okay, right. Not entirely sure what we can do about the water levels then. Maybe we need to just have another go at this because it's clearly not going well, is it? And that place is on fire now. Although hopefully the significant amount of water we've got around the place means that it you know, might put itself out, maybe? I don't know. I think possibly we might need to bail out of this attempt and have another go. Because, you know, we've got a flood going on that I'm not entirely sure how to deal with. We're being struck by lightning quite a lot. There's fires up there. There's a portal that's destroyed our magical thingamajig. So, yeah, I think possibly... I think we might need to bail out of this one and start again because we're not doing overly well. We can't do anything now. So, okay, right, let's just abandon this and give it another go, shall we? Okay, so this is going a little bit better. I mean, it's not the mightiest of towers. It's, you know, only a little sort of tiny place. But we've killed two enemies and we have another fireball ready. So we can get down to three enemies remaining. And there's not that many of them coming in. And I think they have to come in through this door here because there's no other way for them to get in. So if we kind of stand over here, ready for the enemies to come by, we can chuck a fireball at them. The other thing is it's very, very slow going in picking up all this stuff. It's taking ages to actually acquire stuff. And... We can't make any more rooms because we haven't got any more kind of connections. So look, if we go and sit in our magic chair, we can't use that room block and we can't use that one because there's nowhere left for them to go. So we're kind of stuck with this. This is kind of what we're stuck with. And it's okay. It's working sort of. It's working slowly but surely we're getting there. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Pick that up first. Grab that. Right, that goblin's going to come in. We don't want that to happen. We don't want them to be in the place. Right. Hello, goblin. And boom. Right, so now we're down to three enemies. And I think as well, hang on, if we run time on, it's going to be an hour or so. Oh, no, there's another goblin coming. Hang on. We need to we need to get the thing out of here really quick. Oh, that goblin's going to come in and set fire to stuff. This is all of it, too. And of course, we can't chuck a fireball at them because they're inside. But now we've got, oh, we've got a slightly different spell. What's that? Explosion. Oh, OK. Right. Hang on. Maybe we can use it when they go away. Maybe we can use the spell when they clear off. So if they go outside the door and we follow them, then we just go, okay, hello. And then we go, and boom. Okay, right. We're down to kill two enemies, although now one of our rooms is on fire, which isn't great, but never mind. Um, Right, okay. Let's put that mana back into there and see what we can do. And pick up some mana from here as well. Drop that off down here to make that a little bit quicker. So it's going better. It's going better. It's not perfect, but yeah, it's certainly an improvement on what we've had in the past. Um, And we can trade in one of these things. Um, let's trade in that block, shall we? Get rid of that block and let's see if we can get a different kind of building block because it would be useful if we could get some more buildings in. Ah, and we have one that we can use, which is very good. Okay, so where should we put that? Uh, let's put that there because it's under the ground. We could do with some firefighting stuff going on, which we're not going to have, of course. Okay, well, hang on. Get a repair tool, possibly. Yeah, when they walk through the rooms that are on fire, they do get damaged. Also, that crystal might possibly explode, which isn't great. Okay, hang on. Can we rummage around? Can we get rid of that repair tool thing? Possibly find a firefighting tool? And we found a repair tool. Okay, good. Right, can we get rid of the repair tool and find something that's not that? Because that's going to explode, and that sounds like a bad thing. <laughs> we don't want things exploding. Right, okay. Got one more bit of mana. Right, how long is that going to be? Three and a bit hours. This room has got something in. It's got a repair thing. We need to fix this. We need to fix that because, look, it's got weird magical blue stuff coming out of it, which is it can only be a bad thing. It can only be exploding. Oh, there we go. The crystal is about to explode. Yeah, let's not go down there. Let's not go down there. Um, Yeah, the doors might want to move as well. That's not great, is it? Okay, one and a bit hours until that's done. The crystal is going to explode momentarily. We'll pick up a nice spell, though. So that's good. And then we can put a bit of magic into here. So we've got... Yeah, that's... Oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> that's not gone entirely according to plan. So the crystal exploded. The pub is on fire. I think... Did one of our dwarves perish? I think one of our dwarves might have died as well. And that room is now completely isolated. Um, and things are on fire. And we don't want to put that there because there's a hole in the roof, which means the water will come in, so that's going to be bad. Um, okay, what we need to do is we need to wait a little while for that to sort of finish, get the final crystally thing out of the... Hang on, hang on. There's a goblin. But we can't get round, and neither can the goblin. So what is it going to do? <laughs> okay. It just sort of died. How did... Okay. <laughs> we didn't do that, did we? Oh, no, this exploded. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Right, hang on a minute. So we can pick up a bit of mana. If we have one more enemy coming our way, we can possibly try and fight them. But, I mean, yeah, how is that? How are you... Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened there, but hooray, we've taken a glorious victory. And, yeah, Mr. No-No's there is very happy about that. I don't know what happened there. That room kind of blew up a couple of times. Was it because they were hitting it and it was exploding and killing them? I don't know. Do you know what? We'll take it. We won. Hooray. I mean, I don't entirely know that was that wasn't the best way to do it, but we've taken a victory and that's kind of what counts. Well, there we go. I mean, the game is telling us that we can go and have another go if we'd like to, but I think we're okay. I think we will finish things up for now with Dwarven Skykeep. We've had a very good look at the game and we've seen what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And I have enjoyed it. It's very good. Although I do think that there are a couple of important bits missing from the tutorial that we've just gone through. I mean, important bit number one is the fact that the building blocks of the tower kind of have different kind of access points that allow you to connect them together. I don't really recall the tutorial telling us that. I kind of just thought, yeah, yeah we've got building blocks, brilliant. But yeah, it didn't kind of explain the fact that, you know, sometimes you have to have like a left connecty bit to connect it onto an existing bit of the building that's got a right connecty bit. And also it didn't explain rain. It didn't explain how water can come through the holes in the roof. We kind of had to work that out ourselves. I mean, that would have been quite useful to know. In our second and third attempts, we didn't put sort of uh, you know, building blocks with holes in the roof. So everything didn't flood. But yeah, it would have been quite handy to know. But overall, I've really enjoyed it. I like the idea of it. It's quite an interesting sort of idea. I thought we'd have more sort of going back and forth between the sort of, you know, the tower bits and the dwarven city to get, you know, resources or people or whatever. I thought there might be a little bit more back and forth with that. Because otherwise, what's the kind of point of this mirror and the Dwarven City stuff if we're not constantly going through them? I don't really know what the point is. Why do we have to have this little sort of bit here in the Dwarven City if it doesn't really have any bearing on anything? But this is the demo. Maybe in the future version, the full version, they'll have that kind of stuff and we have to keep going back and forth between the tower bit of the world and the kind of Dwarven City to grab various bits and bobs. I do not know, but, uh, but yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it because, yeah, this is only the demo. So, yeah, it can develop quite a bit when it goes into sort of, you know, a later version or whatever. But, yeah, overall, it's very enjoyable. And, of course, it's very silly as well. And it looks quite nice as well. I do like the fact that it looks quite nice. It's got a lovely sort of charming kind of pixely style to it. But, um, but yeah, we will finish up with it for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. He's gone down the lift, even though they're not built. The lifts aren't finished. People, people, this is very dangerous. Martin said it's fine and gave me a negative review. You silly man, Martin. You've clicked the wrong button. It looked like he had no trousers on, which was a little bit strange. Oh, Linda, with your gleaming golden words of appreciation. Linda says, eh, okay, hotel.